Welcome to 5 Minute STEM. In this video, we're going to be going over while loops and do while loops. And everything that we show today can be found on my website, and I'll have a link down below. So, before we get into while loops and do while loops, we first need to understand um, incremental and decremental operations because they are often used in conjunction with the while loops and do while loops. So, an incremental operator is the plus plus symbol, and the decremental is minus minus. So I'll just show you how that works. So int num, let's say, equals 2. And then we have int new num equals num plus plus. And then we'll print out new num first, and line. All right. So new num equals num, which was two. Now it does not equal the plus plus yet because it does the num first. And I'll show you a little bit better explanation of why that is in a second. Num is the 2 plus 1, so that gives us the 3. Now, if we had the plus plus before this num, then I would expect new num to be equal to 3 because it's doing the incrementation before. And yeah, so that's three. And so it's the same thing for the decremental operator. So minus minus. It's two, one. So the new num was the num value, which was two. And then num became one. But again, if we have the decremental before the variable, it will be one and one. All right, so now let's, now that we understand uh, incremental and decremental operators, we can use them in our while loop. So let's say int num equals one, and then while num is less than or equal to, 10 we want to do let's say num times num and then we'll increment it and we'll run it All right, so we can just run through this quickly. So while num is equal to one, we're gonna do one times one and print it out. And then we're gonna increment it. So now num is equal to two and we go back up here. So num times num, so two times two is four. And then we increment again, three times three is nine. And then we increment again, four times four is 16. And we keep on going, and then we're at 10 times 10, 100. Then num plus plus makes num equal to 11. So when we do while num, which is 11, is less than or equal to 10. That's not true, so we're going to end the while loop. Now, if we did a do while loop, while I'm going to take this and now it's going to look the same so because they're very similar 
So again, all the same values. The only difference is if we were to change this to 11. Notice we got the value for 11 times 11, and that's because do while loops always run at least once, regardless of the value. So even though 11 is really not less than or equal to 10, it ran this do part of the loop first. And then it checks this while. So that's why I didn't run a second time. All right. And so that is the difference between while loops and do while loops and how you use incremental and decremental operators um, in conjunction with them. So again, you can find this at my website. I'll have the link down below. And thanks for watching.